a world where things are not what they seem comes a show filled with geeks. In the year 2010, on a faraway website known as Geek Existence, a cult classic was born. A couple of guys with too much time on their hands began to record their conversations, but no one listened. Can y'all see him well enough? This wasn't to last as soon. They moved to a new home, tftalk.net. And now, with new troops to command, a show so epic iTunes couldn't contain it, they went live. Join the cast during Durin Land as an out of shape Steve Austin known as Weird Wolf, Jason Walston as Plasticon, Che Guevara, Generation 2, Red Lavelle as Mega Toy Fan, a vintage toy collector jonesing for a knockoff. Michael Swift as Sideburn 2, a Beast Wars fan who chose an R.I.D. identity instead, Donald Ferguson as Headmaster Don, a crazy catman with an R.C. fetish, Bryce Rutledge as Burr Icy, a Japanese toy nut, Tobias Granville as Dr. Arkaville, a mad scientist from Sweden, and Daniel Arsenault as Proto Man, who thinks Hot Rod is a sexy bitch. TFYLP, Transformers for your listening pleasure. Coming to a YouTube channel near you. Rated A for awesome. In the world of Generation 2, Mirage is trying to escape the Terracons. But it suddenly gets cut off. Who comes to the rescue? Ultra Magnus. Armed with his new titanium armor and a rocket launcher, but the Terracons have a plan of their own. They decide to form Abominus as these gigantic robots begin their battle. The battle is in your hands. Generation 2 Transformers, brought to you by Hasbro. Some assembly required, vehicles and figures so The year is 1994, and coming out of the Generation 1 line comes Generation 2 Ultra Magnus. This car carrier has never seen a deco like this throughout its entire lifespan. Although this is a mock-up that I've made, this is exactly what he would have looked like during the Generation 2 age. Decked out with all this gold plastic, on top of the hot, crazy colors of orange and pink, he really does pop in these colors. Along with his other Autobot buddies, he straight up looks awesome. He really does have the best aesthetic and really does blend together well with the rest of his team. Moving on to the cab portion, obviously it's a hot orange. It's got some really nice details picked out with the color palette that has been chosen. With the somewhat of a bit of white, along with the hot pink and the gold, it just seems to pop better in these colors. His transformation is absolutely identical to his Generation 1. There are no differences here, nor are there any remolds. He does tend to stick out quite a bit 
compared to his other counterparts that have been ever released throughout the entire lines. As you can clearly tell, he does fit next to his Autobot brothers. Although the colors are a little wild, this is exactly what brings out the awesome of Generation 2. The wild colors in the 90s vibe. But you guys came here to actually see the full-on transformation. So let's get right into that. Transformation is absolutely identical to the Generation 1. There are no differences here whatsoever. Although the trailer itself really has a little bit of parts forming, it still is one of the coolest and yet most satisfying transformations that has ever came out of the Generation 1 slash Diaclone age. After you have him fully armored up and completely put together, it is clear that he is absolutely awesome. Although he does have an added rocket launcher gimmick now, which is something that was lacking from the other molds. Still, he stands tall. Along with the rest of his Autobot buddies, he really does blend in and mesh very well with the entire line. Although this might have been a hole for some people in their Generation 2 line. I myself, I felt it. And this is exactly what Generation 2 Ultra Magnus would have looked like. So you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna end up having some more Generation 2 craziness and more stuff coming your guys' way. Well, this has been Plasticon, and this has been yet another review. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, you guys. Thank you.